Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made me be rejoice and be glad in it. We've been looking at the book of Mark chapter 4 and today we are looking at the last two verses that is verse number 40 and 41. The Bible says, he said to them, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, who then is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ intervened. We said yesterday that when we call upon him, he intervenes and he does not just look at uh, the situation at hand. He can speak to that situation as he did and said, peace be still. And where there was a great windstorm, there was a great calm that was experienced because our Lord Jesus Christ can speak to our situations. He now turns to the disciples. When you look at verse number 38, where they are asking him, teacher, don't you care that we are perishing? Jesus did not first address them. He first dealt with the situation at hand. And thereafter, when there was a great calm experienced, this is when he turns now to the disciples, asking them, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? Praise the Lord. This shows great love, great concern, that the Lord is ready to first deal with the situation that is carrying you. Then he will address your next move in your faith. He did not first turn to them, you know, rebuking them. Don't you still have faith? Why are you so afraid? Why are you waking me up? No. He dealt with the matter at hand first. Then thereafter, he's turning to them. Why are you so afraid? He's addressing them so that after this storm, you will not remain the same way as you are. You need to move to another level. Whatever storm you face in your life, the Lord's intentions is that out of that storm, you will move to another level in your faith. And no wonder he's first dealing with your storm. Then he turns to you to lift you to that next level. And uh, the disciples were filled with great fear. I'm looking at this portion of scripture where there was a great windstorm. There was a great calm. And again, after their faith was addressed, they were filled with great fear. Not the fear to run away. But the fear to, you know, to wonder and marvel at who Christ is. And they did not keep it to themselves. They even spoke out to one another. They witnessed to one another. And this is what they said. And they said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? They witnessed to one another brothers and sisters when the lord intervenes in our situations we are called to become his witnesses and we will not witness so far away we start where we are they started with themselves they said to one another who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him the miracle that you have experienced today, the breakthrough that you have experienced today, the great calm that you are enjoying today is calling upon you to become God's witness. And don't look to witness very far from where you are. Start right where you are. Turn around to the person next to you. Ask each other, oh goodness, this is great calm. This is great intervention. Who then is this that even the wind and the sea can obey him? The Lord is calling us to become his witnesses wherever we are and also to enjoy the breakthroughs, but not to stop there. Let us turn to one another as witnesses. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely weekend. The Lord be with you at all times in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.